Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. Today, I wanted to delve into a topic that I haven't really discussed on my channel before, which is something that has actually surrounded the Assassin's Creed series, more specifically the Templar Order, in the franchise for many years now. Which is who, or what, is the father of understanding? To answer this question, we must first look at the Templar Order's history and how they have referenced this Father of Understanding in previous Assassin's Creed titles. The first verbal hearing of the term came, in terms of game releases, in Assassin's Creed 2. The term was used frequently during the Templar meetings and used as some sort of prayer, ritual or blessing to start and end these gatherings between the Order's members. It is continually used throughout the series in this way, during the 18th century by Templars such as Haytham Kenway, and beyond into the modern day, where the CEO of Abstergo, Alan Ricken, used the term in an email to Warren Biddick. So the term, the father of understanding, throughout the series has mostly been used in this sort of spiritual, ritual sort of way, though there have been a few other uses of this term throughout the franchise that goes a little slightly beyond a simple ritual greeting. For example, in Assassin's Creed Unity, during one of the modern day segments showing us the Phoenix Project, there is a barcode on the vial with the DNA of John Standish, a sage. The barcode actually translates to a question, which is, who is the father of understanding? as if to reference the Father of Understanding as a physical entity of some kind, rather than just an idea. We also see in Assassin's Creed Origins the first use of this term towards an actual physical person. During the time of Assassin's Creed Origins, between 49 to 44 BCE, the Order of the Knights Templar are in their early stages of existence, and go by the name Order of the Ancients. It is during this time Julius Caesar becomes the leader of the Order of the Ancients, and when, at the time proto-assassin, Aya asks one of the Order of the Ancients members, Septimius, in battle whether Caesar was the Order's new king. Septimius replies that Caesar is the father of understanding. So Caesar is the king of the Order now. Caesar is the father of understanding. Okay, so there are a few variations clearly used throughout the series with that term, the father of understanding. So let's analyse these uses and see what we can understand about it. To be clear, when it comes to discussing the Father of Understanding, and what or who it could be referencing, there are certainly some inconsistencies throughout the franchise that make his identity more of a mystery than it maybe should be. As throughout the franchise, he is referenced to as a person, as an idea, and many other times as some sort of theoretical entity as I've stated earlier. The Father of Understanding being some sort of metaphysical being does support the ideology of the Templars in the simple way in which it just represents the Order's association with some sort of higher power, that their work is for the greater good, based on knowledge, understanding and control of the world. Look, I would argue it is most likely that the Father of Understanding is no more than a representation of the Templar Order's ideals and desire for, as I've said, knowledge and power. However, how did this ritual become a thing? I mean, what were the term's origins? Well, we don't really know exactly what the first use of the term was, but you would think it could very well have been based on some sort of physical being, right? At least initially. I mean, Septimius calls Caesar the father of understanding in response to Aya. So, there is one use there of the term the father of understanding being used towards a physical person, we know that. It is being used in reference to the leader of the Order of the Ancients, more specifically. So, would it be wrong to say that in the past, in the early stages of the Order of the Knights Templar, when it was known as the Order of the Ancients, or even before then, that the Father of Understanding, before it became a ritual saying, was the title of the Order's leaders, rather than Grand Master? I don't think it's wrong to say that. Even beyond that, it could have started from the person or people that the Templar's Order's ideals originated from. So, to understand this further, we need to go back long before Caesar. I'd like to go through several figures in Assassin's Creed lore that could have been the original Father of Understanding and kind of cross people's names off this list and give people that have real potential to be the best candidates. 
The first two characters I feel as though need to be mentioned on this list, even though I don't think they are the original Father of Understanding. I just want to be able to kind of say them and cross them off the list so people don't go mentioning them in the comments of, oh, why didn't you talk about them? The first one being an Isu, Juno specifically. We know Juno shows very similar ideals with the Templars, that of knowledge, power, and control over all others. She was a high-ranking member of Isu society, and aspired for greater power, much like the Templars do. However, beyond some shared goals and methods, Juno has her own group following her, known as the Instruments of the First Will, and they see Juno as a goddess. She has also at many times worked against the Templars' goals, manipulated them, used them for her own ideas and will, so it doesn't make much sense that the being the Templars aspired towards would be Juno at all. But I feel as though she at least had to be mentioned, even to simply remove her from candidacy. Second, could possibly be Aida, Juno's husband, who was a hybrid of human and Isu, whose genome has been placed into the human species and randomly materializes in rare people. They're known as sages. It makes sense that a being like sages who appear at any point in human history, sometimes multiple times at once, could be the one the Order looks to for guidance as some sort of spiritual deity. However, Germain in Assassin's Creed Unity, who was a sage and a Templar Grandmaster himself, makes reference to the Father of Understanding in the third person. It seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. So, just looking at that, probably eliminates Aida from this race. So to go into the third character, and a very possible candidate of the Father of Understanding, it could be a reference to the Isu known as Consus, who was the original creator of the Pieces of Eden. It makes some sense, as the Pieces of Eden are paths for the Templar Order to gain knowledge, understanding, and control, and Consus is the father of that. Though, if he is, it would not be to his ideological design, simply by being the creator of the Pieces of Eden. Since Consus was not an Isu who demonstrated any sort of ideological support to the Templar Order, in fact, he has a long history of actually working against him and being quite opposed to both Juno and the Templars. I've got a whole video and episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth that goes into full detail of Consus and his history. I'll leave the link to that in the description down below for more details. So, it is possible that Consus could be the Father of Understanding, based on him being the father of the Pieces of Eden, but not based on how he acted or what he believed in. So Consus is a maybe, but I think very unlikely. The fourth most probable candidate is Cain, the son of Adam and Eve, who murdered his brother Abel over one of the Pieces of Eden. Cain was then marked for his crimes with what became the Templar Cross. Based on his actions, his desires for the Pieces of Eden, for knowledge and power, plus his mark as being essentially the first Templar in terms of AC law, I think Cain is probably the prime candidate for the Father of Understanding. If he is a physical being that exists that we already know in Assassin's Creed Universe, that is. Plus, based on Caesar being referenced as the Father of Understanding, assuming that title was given to him just because he's the leader of the Order, I would argue that Cain being the first sort of Templar and first sort of leader of the Templars, he would be known, right, as the first member or the first Father of Understanding. Though again, this is based on inferences from what we know. I can't be certain that he is in fact the Father of Understanding, but I do think he's the most likely option from the people and characters that we know in the universe right now. However, in terms of the way lore works in Assassin's Creed, things often are changed creatively. So to fit in what we do know and the many uses of the Father of Understanding, I would say that the Father of Understanding in the past referenced the leaders of the Order of the Ancients and the Knights Templars, who best fit the ideologies that led them to greater understanding. Starting with Cain and moving on towards Caesar and so on and so on. While the more time went on and the more the Order of the Knights Templar grew, the term Father of Understanding became more of an ideological concept and spiritual ritual rather than any one person specifically. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd like to thank the AC Wiki for some research and easy access to information as usual with these truth videos. And I'd like to credit a community member that put together an awesome forum post uh, on the Assassin's Creed and UB forums. That is Sorosis. I think I said that right. Sorosis. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, they're actually quite an interesting law and theorist in the community. 
uh, who they put together this massive forum post going through heaps and heaps of possibilities for who the father of understanding could be and what that means and all that sort of stuff. Uh, their thoughts are very helpful for me in clarifying a lot of the extra material readings I was doing. So I'll leave a link to that post down in the description as well. I think it's definitely worth a read for you guys if you enjoyed this video. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.